Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we're going to be featuring a spicy leaderboard team. This person says this is the best one of the best teams that they've ever built and it's, it's pretty interesting. So obviously you're going to see that in the thumbnail and probably in the title, but let's go ahead and get started uh with the battles um and uh see how we do. Uh so they are going to be leading uh, Pidgeot, which is obviously super strong in the meta um versus and they have uh two electrics in the back uh obviously this is where you want to see uh the needle queen so gonna go for the straight for the brave bird gonna have to shield this unfortunately i'm not entirely sure how they uh i, did, I guess needle queen wins cmp versus pidgeot uh and as well okay obviously immediately switch okay here comes uh the alolan uh, Raticade, obviously gonna go pretend that they have Hyper Beam, throwing at uh, uh, five discharges there, or five volt switches. Um, gonna no shield this, it's gonna be a crunch. Oh, defense drop, which is not great, cause that means it's likely we're gonna see a farm down. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's not great. But a Alolan Graveler does uh, resist the quick attacks, which is nice. And then as well, resist the uh, uh, Hyper Fang, uh, which means they won't be able to go for the nuke, but they will be able to reach another one. Uh, probably going to have to shield this. Okay, not going to shield. Uh, and then here comes Snorlax. Going to go for the Stone Edge. We're going to see whether or not they're going to shield. They do not shield. Okay, uh, probably could f gust down, to be honest. Yeah, it looks like they can gust down. Gust down both Pokemon. Uh, and this is looking pretty good yeah you definitely just go for the gust and uh that's definitely a must that's enough to win the game very nice very nice gameplay there obviously no queen is like the worst pokemon to counter for this team so mew this is a good matchup uh they go into hypno likely just gonna go okay gonna catch the thunder punch very beautiful catch there uh thunder punch is very common in the meta because there's a decent amount of flying and water types gonna go for the foul play uh this would be a cmp tied to a punch if they have it uh this is likely the shadow ball um yeah and then should be able to farm down gonna be oh actually gonna have the foul play ready for the mew which is pretty nice because obviously oh, okay they come to neo queen okay obviously not nice there maybe switch right to pick back to pidgeot to be honest but Okay, gonna try to get to another one. Okay, this is actually really not a great situation. Gonna have to let this go. Um, okay, gonna go straight for the Brave Bird. Go for Glory. Two shields up. Oh man, okay, they shoot. Oh, Simul Swift switch though. Okay, this is actually pretty good then. Uh, unfortunately, they probably have Surf. Can definitely live one Surf. And gonna go for the stone edge they get an extra shadow claw in so likely they will shield and shadow claw down oh they don't shield okay that makes sense too uh because uh obviously they have a neo queen um and the neo queen is gonna be able to farm down okay no gust through okay can they ko look if they if they're three away they're gonna make it Ooh, yeah they were exactly three away Unfortunately, not able to win the game, but a very close game. And we're going to see uh, Pidgeot into Needle Queen. Oh, really tough lead. Um, obviously, something you have to manage pretty appropriately. Um, and they, they get the deny, which is uh, pretty huge for them. Just going to go straight for the Brave Bird. Uh, let's see whether or not they want to shield. They do not. Gonna go straight into Lapras. Gonna be, oh, they're gonna go Hypno into uh, Electro. Um, a little bit desync there because of the switch. Uh, but that's not a big deal. Gonna be one away. Gonna throw this right away, which is really nice. And this is looking really good right now. Uh, definitely no shield. And then basically you just farm to 100. They Thunder Punch, which is uh, not so great. But honestly, you just sack Pidgeot here. You just sack Pidgeot. Um, there's no way they can confusion. Well, okay. I might stand corrected there. It doesn't matter though. Um, gonna let this go. They shadow ball. 
Uh, and then one stone it should be able to take out this Lapras gets the extra volt switch in and then uh, should be able to stone edge and uh, take out uh, this Lapras. Lapras is pretty tanky but unfortunately the volt switches are going to be a little bit too much uh, and we go, we're going to be able to rock blast and take out the Hypno. <laughs> these, these Ray Bird right away is, uh, is, uh, is working out quite well. All right, going that's a very good trainer. Someone that comments my video uh, pretty often, I believe. Or maybe I'm mixing it up with someone else, but okay. So luckily they're gonna try to catch again. Oh, the desync there is not great. Gonna go for the Brave Bird. I don't know if you do two more than switch. Okay, oh, okay. They go into a Lolan Muck. Gonna try to get this extra volt switch in, but throws at throws at um five, which is which is good. It makes a lot of sense because they're gonna they only get one turn worth of energy. They did under tap to prevent the extra volt switch from going through. They do sludge wave, which is not great. Oh, oh over tap there. That is really unfortunate. Um Okay, I like this play because they probably have like a, a Snorlax in the back, but let's see. Okay, um, gonna shield and then I think you do three more. Okay, uh, didn't want to go for the farm down, which is fine. Um, okay, interesting. They go into um, interesting. Okay, oh man, I think they had to make that call there. It, it makes sense because, like, if they don't make the call, uh, then uh, they'll just get Brave Bird. They didn't have a chance to catch though, so difficult decision. All right, uh, Pidgeot versus Alolan Raticate. This is actually an okay matchup. Um, this thing's pretty tanky, so I actually imagine it won't shield. Okay, it does shield. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, okay, they're gonna go into Needle Queen. They do. Half, no, they don't have to earth power to be honest because they can just poison fang and farm down. Uh, but the and they're the, yeah, they're gonna have poison fang, right? Like, um, I don't believe they're gonna earth power. Oh, they do earth power, okay. Okay, gonna go to Pidgeot. Okay, just gonna do that purely for the gust damage because honestly, okay, they do simul KO. Okay, all right, let's see what's in the back. Oh my gosh, they go into Pidgeot. Okay, extra Volt Switch in. Uh, I'm assuming they're gonna Brave Bird. Are they Feather Dance? Okay, interesting. Gonna Stone Edge. Uh, the Stone Edge is still gonna do quite a bit. I've actually, I honestly, in my life, I, d I, don't, I did not ever expect to see a Pidgeot come into uh, a Lonely Graveler by choice. Um, Obviously going to shield this uh, and then going to be able to farm down. Even if they make it to another crunch, it won't really matter. Uh, this Pidgeot is definitely gone in the water, double resisting every move and uh, hitting for super effective damage uh, with a pretty hard hitting Volt Switch and Stone Edge and Rock Blast. That was a uh, okay, very nice 4-1 uh, set. And as well at 15% battery, but now all charged up. We're at 54% going against a Vergi Verg, another content creator. Uh, so likely Vergi will wild charge and bail. Okay, or not. Okay, let's see if they sh if he shields us or not. Okay, gonna see MP tie. Uh, likely we see the surf, right? Yeah, and then we're gonna see the immediate switch out. They come into Machamp. Um, able to get the uh, discharge off. They're gonna fake the uh, hyper beam. No, no, the, the yeah, the hyper beam. Cross shot, not enough to KO. Nice under tap. Uh, still a difficult game. Oh, they no shielded. Oh yeah, obviously they don't have a shield left. Um, able to win switch, which is really nice. They come back in with Mew. Um, I think you gotta go to GI. And then you got no shield this because they're they're likely gonna oh they surf okay um 
think you shield this one. Oh, they go surf again. Okay. Oh, and they come into a Lolan Grimer. Uh, you definitely no shield the. F okay, gonna shield this. I was gonna say no shield the first one in case they get a crunch debuff, but honestly, this Stone Edge does a ton of damage, and uh, they're not gonna be able to get another another move off. And gonna be able to rock blast and take it out. Um, very interesting uh, backline uh, with me in the front. All right, uh, Pidgeot into Hypno. So likely we're gonna see the catch. Oh, they don't throw it. Okay, but they come into. Okay, this thing is well. It's honestly way better to see it here, and this is uh, definitely an ice punch. Uh, so they either have gyro ball or they didn't want to go up to the bulldoze. So, um, okay. There's no way they can farm down. It's kind of a tough decision. Did get the volt switch through. Ooh, okay. So if they shield this, they might get KO through the shield because they're at like one HP. Okay. They do get the farm down, which is not pleasant. Um, oh, okay. This sh Let's see if this is going to be a Shadow Ball. It is the Shadow Ball. Very nice. They go into... Okay. All right. Going to Brave Bird. Uh, let's see whether or not this... Lap oh, Lapras does shield. Oh, it's CMP tie 2. Very nice. Oh, they undercharge. Also very nice, but this is this is looking really good right now. Um, gonna have to shield this, right? And then you basically do three more, and then or go to hundred here. And okay, uh, I'm not sure this rock blast will KO, but the next volt switch will KO, uh, which they won't be able to register. Okay. Oh man, the stone edge is gonna do a lot of damage to the hypno. Really nice play, and the shadow ball won't KO. If they even have it, they do not. And a very nice play. The CMP tie was absolutely amazing there. Staying calm and composed uh, to land that CMP tie was uh, was really good. Okay, obviously very good lead. They come into Mew. Interesting. Um, they do wild charge. That's crazy. Okay, that's actually really bad uh for them okay this should be a surf oh flame charge oh my gosh okay gonna go for the farm down okay that's actually really bad i did not expect the mute to just straight up wild church uh they're gonna try to get to us a, a third one uh but it's gonna be a very tough situation here um okay okay gonna shield yeah, I like this play. Okay. I don't think the Pidgeot has a move, though. Gonna have to sack the Pidgeot. Okay. Oh, man. Able to get out. That actually is gonna be the game-winning move. You just no shield this and then uh, save the shield for the Pidgeot. The thing is, like, as long as Pidgeot doesn't get KO through the shield, you should be in a really good spot. Okay, let's see here. Oh man, okay. The Pidgeot definitely has more than one HP, so uh, should be able to land the Brave Bird. Oh man, <laughs> very nice control there and uh, able to take out the Venusaur, very nice. All right, we're gonna go Pidgeot into Hypno. So we know the plan. We're gonna do four, then switch. Ooh, okay, good con good composure by the opponent. And they tried to catch a uh, foul play. Uh, really nice play by the opponent, which is what you expect at this uh, ELO range. Um, okay, so they have some... Usually when they lead Hypno and they have Lickitung, uh, they have something else weak to uh, fighting in the back. This Hypno has a lot of energy. So obviously we're going to see the full farm down. Okay, nice timing by the opponent. Definitely no shield. Oh, okay. Uh, they Thunder Punch. 
Okay, very nice. Oh man, this this is this is honestly just a master class of gameplay here between these two. Uh, so obviously they have something else good in the back uh, for the Pidgeot if they were willing to switch into him now. So maybe a Lapras. Yeah, Lapras. Oh, it's Dugong. Okay, Dugong. I'm gonna throw a three. Goes for the deny, which honestly at this point in time you kind of have to. Um, oh, they try to catch. Oh, okay. This is fine. This is fine because they have a, they have a Brave Bird. All right. So gonna throw the Stone Edge. Likely gonna be a CMP tie. But regardless, like you just stay in. Oh, oh, they no shielded. Oh, uh, so it certainly does more than Brave Bird. I don't know if the Brave Bird would have KO'd the Dugong at that health, but kind of had to make the call there. Okay, they go into Machamp. Uh, no counter through, which is which is huge. Uh, honestly, you just shield this because if you flip if you flip the switch, then this 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 uh, this game is very. You just shield again because this this game is like almost over. Um, because uh, the dominant the matchup is so dominant in the back, but this is still tricky here, right? Um, the luckily shield twice, um, and then they'll ice beam the. Okay, I like this play. Gonna try draw out the Pidgeot. Okay, that that's okay though, right? Because, uh, um, okay. Okay, this is gonna be tricky here. Okay. One Hydro Cannon will definitely KO. Uh, I, I, does it KO? No move through. Oh. Oh my gosh. Super close game there. Really well played. Uh, I, li I like the idea of like trying to bring in the Pidgeot then so you can farm down later, but. Okay, obviously really rough lead here and they go into hypno into electrode and gonna go for the foul play uh especially with electrode with energy okay cmp tie because i didn't see a confusion go through um nope okay they likely punch here to be honest yeah but do what choice do you Okay, this is probably a CMP tie. And I, I honestly, I think you... Okay. Because uh, you didn't get the Volt Switch, so you just let it go. You definitely Thunder Punch. You... Uh... Okay. And honestly, I would just switch here. I would just switch. Try to get the extra... Okay, I'm going to go get the extra move there. And they're going to foul play. You got to let it go. Oh man, that's actually very good to hear. And uh, this is this this looks like it's gonna be a win. Electro is pretty squishy, and uh, they're just gonna be three away. Okay, and they went for the extra volt switch, which makes sense because uh, that's pretty much the only way they can win, uh, potentially. Uh, but uh, it was gonna be a little bit too late there. So really fantastic gameplay. I think this team is really solid. Honestly, team is great trainer is better right so but anyways uh thank you very much for saying these battles uh if you like this video for like comment and subscribe and i'll see everyone in the next video